So we're going to create something like this. And uh, what we're going to do is, let's see, um, create a box first and delete these guys. And that will leave us with two point polys here. Actually, let's just drag this one down here, I guess, uh, just to make it about the same. Mm. Now, this is a two point poly, right? So, what I can do now is I can use Magic Bevel and, oops, that's not the setting I wanted. I wanted to have this 222 or so, and then I can draw this line. So, but when you see that I try to do that, then it goes kind of like bananas. So, the reason for that is because these uh, two point polys are so close uh, compared to compared to the precision I have over here. So that's why you can get that kind of artifact. So I'll just choose one by one to avoid that problem. Maybe add a shortcut to activate uh, magic bevel. Depends on how many, uh, how many uh, of these guys you're gonna make. So, okay, so like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is. I could tab it, I guess. Uh, and now, now it's uh, Kevin Clark. So then I'll just freeze it. Actually, I don't need to do that. I could have just use Metaform instead. Uh, you can see that we got some those two point polys there, though. So let's just get rid of those and delete. And it's actually not that bad. <clears throat> um, let's just knife this. I think I'm going to move these guys down to about here so I can knife these over again. Okay, um, so there we go, we're closer. Uh, so I'll just copy that and paste it to a new layer. Um, let's subdivide it again. Yeah, we're, we're on to something. What I'll do use now is the drag net, network tool with a point radial. And go like that. Actually, I'm kind of satisfied with that. You might sometimes want to use the, the magnet tool instead, actually. So let's do that. Just to show you really how how you can go about it. Uh, okay. So I'll delete these rows and and I'll add more points here. 
So, um, how should I do that? Uh, yeah, okay. Loop. Oh, sorry. Loop. Oh, there we go. That's. <laughs> Actually, I should have just done that. Um, so I expanded the selection. So now I'm going to select some of these guys. The reason why I'm doing this is just to add some randomness to this. So, select those, add a form, okay. So now we got this, and then we'll run, oops, on uh, Ditter, tell me later. And well, I'll just run that a couple of times until you're satisfied, really. Maybe I should have. Subdivide like this one more time. Then you need to triple it, uh, and then subdivide it, and then kill the um, points. Not quite sure. Not quite satisfied about this. Then again, as you know, uh, selecting points. And modeler is not straightforward. Uh, I mean, it's straightforward, but it's very slow. So you might just want to use a lasso tool when you do that because it's going to be a hundred times faster. Something that NT needs to look into. Um, Maybe I should jitter this one more time. Or two. Um, so I think we got some interesting stuff going on here. Um, all the ways to go about this is to uh, use, uh, well, you could have used the weight paint tool and then. But I don't know, it would have been very difficult and slow. Uh, another way to do it is to use um, an image map and project to onto the model. And then you will say create points in that area. And there are two ways to go about that. You can either do it in, in layout by using a particle emitter on the object or you can do it in modeler um, by using texture textured point I believe so but this is another way to go about it so yeah